So Far Cry 6 has a cockfighting mini <laughs> cockfighting. So Far Cry 6 has a cockfighting mini game that's like a Tekken parody, and shocker, games journalists are leaving their minds over it. They're saying it's promoting animal cruelty or whatever, because a comedic cockfighting mini game in an open world first person shooter with graphic violence and consequence free murder is really the angle we're taking today. No surprise, this one comes from The Gamer, one of my favorite wannabe legitimate news outlets. Title is, Far Cry 6's cockfighting is gross and we should care more about it. Written by Stacy Henley, who's gonna tell us all why we're horrible, horrible people for not taking this video game more seriously. The ultimate irony of this article is the fact that a different author at The Gamer also published this article, where they basically talk shit about PETA for taking the video game too seriously. So I love how The Gamer is so transparently clickbait driven that they can't even keep their writers on the same page. But let's just get started. Let's go back to the first article and let Stacy tell us why we're the worst for thinking video games are fun. Be sure to tell your mom hi for me. Get it? Because that song about Stacy's mom. The song everyone thinks is by Bowling for Soup. These are the jokes. Far Cry 6 seems to be the most Far Cry game ever to Far Cry. While it does appear to lean in harder to the political undertones of the series, casting you as a guerrilla fighter taking on a tyrannical regime on the island of Yara, a place visibly inspired by Cuba, with a guerrilla fantasy feeling taken from the Cuban uprising, but with the political commentary supposed to be wider and less focused on Cuba specifically. Personally, I think it feels a little gross to use the pastiche of a very real socialist uprising and then try to distance your game from the specific politics of that movement for something more watered down and safe, but I get it. Well, I mean, not to be that guy, but what is gross about taking current events and then going in a different fictional direction with it? That's just something that creatives have done since the beginning of entertainment, really. Like, yeah, some are more, you know, sensitive to the real world than others, but I hate to break it to you, current events inspire fiction. Why do you think there were so many modern warfare games in the mid to late 2000s? Why do you think so many sci-fi and fantasy stories nowadays have some kind of focus on class division? Politics is complicated, which is why game journalists probably shouldn't talk about them. What I get less is the insistence on wedging the wacky, zany Far Cryness into a story that wants to be taken seriously. Regardless of where you stand on that admittedly controversial issue though, there is one thing that we should probably all have already been in agreement on. Cockfighting is fucking gross. Never mind the murder that there's no consequence for. Never mind all the guns that you get to upgrade so you can murder more effectively. Fictional cockfighting where the roosters don't actually die. I mean, especially because they're not real, but even in the game, they don't actually die. It's a, it's a joke. That's what we're focusing on. Fuck you. Far Cry 6 has a few tonally awkward elements I have already written about prior to launch, and I will be sure not to read your articles because you don't understand video games. The DLC linking up with Stranger Things and Danny Trejo's taco truck, for example, or how the cute and silly dog is an unnecessary distraction from the staunch political stance the game wishes to take. But wait, I thought... I thought the game wasn't taking a political stance. But cockfighting is not tonally awkward. It's not something that just doesn't fit with Far Cry's big ideas, or makes it hard to believe the sincerity with which the game claims to treat its story. It's just, again, fucking gross. <sighs> boy, oh boy. Um, hmm. Look, I don't know very much about Far Cry 6. I haven't really cared about Far Cry since Blood Dragon. But there are a few things about this game that I do know. It's wacky. It's over the top. It's an open world, sandboxy, Ubisoft-y game. That's kind of what they do. There's a lot of guns. There's a lot of murder. There's a decent amount of player choice. And the game ultimately revolves around liberating, or I guess, you know, if you choose not to liberate, but it ultimately revolves around a society dominated by uh, some tyrannical evil leader guy, dictator, as they call them. So we're taking all that, and now we're gonna focus on this. I'm like, let me, let me just show you, let me just show some footage from this mini game that you're taking such offense to. Like, are we really going to focus so hard on this? And I, and, and look, like, I, like, I get it, I get it. You don't want to see living things get hurt for entertainment. I get that. Totally under, excuse me. Speaking of living things, a cat just fucking flopped down at my feet from, where'd you even come from? I moved in with my fiance and I, I guess I'm a cat dad now and I'm still getting used to it. But I get it, you know, it's, it's totally normal for you to take issue with living things getting hurt for your entertainment. Do you see the irony here? I don't feel I should have to expand on that or come up with alternate ways of phrasing it. It's making animals fight each other in a bloody, brutal combat for sport. Huh, interesting. Did, did you not play the rest of the game? That's kind of what the game is. There, there, there's bloody violence in Far Cry. There's people killing each other in Far Cry. 
people dying horrible deaths in Far Cry, people being oppressed by an evil dictator in Far Cry, but cockfighting, mm, just, just, that's, that's where we draw the line. This is not just a passing thing mentioned in the game either, nor just a throwaway line in a file only the most dedicated players will encounter. There is a full Tekken style fighting mini game where you take control of one rooster and try to claw and peck your opponent to death as he shrieks in agony. Bloody feathers a flutter. PETA Latino has spoken out on this issue, but few others have. If PETA is one of the only people speaking out against something, it's probably not a problem. Like, like seriously, let, let's be real. If there is something happening and PETA is one of the only people talking about it, it's probably not a big deal. I'm not a vegan. I try to incorporate more vegan substitutes into my diet, both for environmental and ethical reasons, yeah, fucking shocker there. But I understand that I still eat meat, and some of those animals that meat comes from were probably treated poorly. There is no ethical consumption under capitalism. Obligatory games journalism bashing capitalism at any chance. But cockfighting is not the same. What about the murder? What about the murder? All of the guns in Far Cry. It is a first person shooter game. Jesus fucking hell. The ways to change the ways animals in the meat industry are treated is to go vegan where possible. Pressure companies into more ethical treatment and look for them. Blah, 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 blah. Look, if you want to go vegan, fine. If you have issues with the meat industry, fine totally valid nobody was talking about that like this whole thing it just sounds like some fucking journalist saw a thing in a video game where they were like what i can talk about being vi i can talk about invi i can talk about the things i like woo here's my angle like go fuck yourself this article has almost nothing to do with video games and yet here it is bashing a video game as a vessel for you to talk about shit you wanted to talk about this is why people don't take games journalism seriously if you want an outlet to talk about what you believe go for it I have no problem with vegans. I have no problem with environmentalists. I'm a libertarian, do whatever you want. As long as you're not hurting anybody, I don't give a fuck what you do. Do whatever you want, live life how you want. But let's have some semblance of consistency in your arguments, Jesus Christ. And enough with shoving this garbage anywhere it can be. I wanna open a gaming website and just read about video games. Fucking Christ, what's your issue with Pokemon? Like Pokemon is all about animals fighting each other. You just don't think about it because they look kind of cute and some of them look really mean and they have nasty names but some of them look exactly like dogs some of them look exactly like cats and the whole game is about making them fight each other the whole franchise is about making them fight each other where's your issue with that oh that's different because it's fictional oh would you look at that it's fictional and therefore not a problem hmm cockfighting is not even as some equestrian lovers like to claim of their own sport a way to bond with the animal or give it a purpose it's cruelty in its basest form Yes, you're, yeah, you're correct. Correct. Real life cockfighting is gross. Real life animal fighting is gross. It is animal cruelty. In the, like, in the purest, most literal sense, it is animal cruelty. Yes. You know what else is cruel? Shooting people with a gun for your own entertainment. It's almost like video games aren't real. That it's in the game is bad enough. It feels like someone Googled Latin culture and pulled out the five coolest thing and stuck in PowerPoint and all that. Yard. I mean, are you not familiar with Latin culture? Because this is a common thing in Latin culture. Yes. There's the obligatory white saviorism of games journalism, which is the ultimate irony. A lot of, the, a lot of games journalists are like, I'm all about the environment. I'm all about making sure the Western civilization and capitalism aren't mean to anybody. And then you have this fucking white savior ass complex and you don't even notice it. But to be not just glorified as a mini game, not just one you witness, but one you actively participate in by ripping a cockerel to shreds feels disgusting even for video games. Again, here's the footage of the mini game. I feel like we're exaggerating a little bit. 10 years ago, this would have been a bit too much. In 2021, it's so far over the line, everyone seems ready to dismiss it entirely, out of sight and out of mind. It's almost too gross that mentioning it at all feels vulgar. But things like this shouldn't be happening in our medium anymore. I don't care how fun it is. Where are our standards? Where are our bare minimums? Probably at the firing range, getting shot by virtual guns, of which you have a wide selection to choose from to shoot your virtual targets in this game that's not real. Video games have an incredibly violent past, but actively spotlighting cockfighting and leaning into the inherent silliness of it. The Tekken aesthetic is just one more time fucking gross. You, are, are you aware this is in a Far Cry game? Are you aware this is in a Far Cry game? I feel like I'm repeating myself. Like, I feel like this is one of the most like shallow videos, like the most shallow response videos I've made because I just keep repeating the same things over and over again. But that's because this article is just inherently broken. You don't have an argument at all. And we're about to get into the last paragraph 
The article is almost over. You haven't even acknowledged the game that it's in. Like, what the fuck? I don't, I don't remember the last time I've just been this befuddled looking for like opposing arguments because I don't even, I don't even feel like I need that deep of opposing arguments. It's in a Far Cry game. What do you want? By this logic, the video game is also advocating you go out and, and murder anyone you don't like with a gun. Like, you have to realize that there is some separation of reality and entertainment. You are making the same argument as the people who think video games cause you to be violent in real life. You are making the same argument and you don't notice it because again, you are just looking at your job as a vessel to push your own ideology. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for the, this is how the article finishes. Why is this a thing we're okay with? Why is this a thing that's happening? Because it's a video game. The joy it takes in animal cruelty feels so much more upsetting than the graphic violence many video games, Far Cry included, are known for. Oh, okay. So that's how you justify it. Got it. This graphic violence is okay, but this graphic violence, no. It's senseless violence in service of nothing but a cheap laugh and is the absolute worst of the medium. I've taken pot shots at Far Cry previously, but it's all in good fun. I get that people like a mix of serious themes and nonsensical action, even if I find it difficult to swallow because you're a garbage critic who doesn't know how to separate truth from fiction. This though, virtual cockfighting in a AAA game in 2021, we're better than this or at least we should be. Good fucking Lord. I thought the gamer couldn't get any worse, but they just keep proving me wrong. I think this is the most annoyed I've ever been recording a video. And again, look, real life cockfighting is gross. Real life animal fighting is gross. The real life abuse of animals is gross. You know what else is gross? The real life shooting of people with a gun. But we do it in a video game because it's not real. It's escapist fantasy. It's putting you in a situation that you never would be in in real life and letting you have some fun, letting you experience a new world. In the world of Far Cry 6, there's cockfighting. There's also the brutal murder of human beings, but I guess we don't care about that. Like, I like how you play Far Cry 6. You see Far Cry 6, you play through Far Cry 6, you know the gameplay of Far Cry 6, and all of it is morally fine, except for this, because animal cruelty. Not human cruelty both in the violent sense and the oppression sense of just the whole concept of the game, not in the societal sense of the complete takeover of an island of, by an evil dictator, the complete control of the economy, the complete control of people's lives, the murdering of dissenters without a second thought, that's all completely fine to you. But where we draw the line and where we should be taking action and censorship, because I mean, you didn't explicitly say censorship, but you have said multiple times in this, in this article that this shouldn't be in the game, this shouldn't be in video video games. Virtual cockfighting meant to be a parody of Tekken, where the animals don't actually die. I try I try my best to just criticize people's arguments. I try my best to just criticize pe what the you know the things people say. Sometimes I'll take a little jokey pot shot every now and again. But I, I'm 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 going to say this truthfully and honestly. Please quit your job. Games journalism is bad enough without you. Toodles.